In this video, I want to showcase AutoCAD Mechanical's bomb migration tools. But before that, let me describe the context in which these tools work. This folder over here contains a drawing project with several drawing files. This is my main assembly drawing. In this folder, I have the sub-assemblies I used. Each sub-assembly is in its own drawing file. In this folder, I have the part drawings. Each part is stored in its own drawing file. Now let me open the main assembly file and show you something. Look at the properties of the parts list over here. It is a block reference, not an AutoCAD mechanical parts list. Look at this balloon. It is a multi-leader. And let me tell you a secret. These drawings are not even AutoCAD mechanical drawings. They are AutoCAD drawings. Let me show you what happens to this drawing after I use the migration tools on them. Look at the balloons. There is a part reference at the start point of the leader. Check out the tooltip. And watch what happens when I double click the drawing border. They have all been migrated to AutoCAD Mechanical. Now let me edit the part reference of the crosshead assembly and show you something pretty interesting. Check this out. The part reference is attached to the bomb of the crosshead assembly drawing. Not only has this drawing been migrated, even the sub-assembly and part drawings have been migrated and their bombs have been linked together to reflect the hierarchy. Now let's get back to the unmigrated drawing and the migration tools. When I first saw this, I thought to myself, why two commands? Shouldn't the bomb migration tool be enough? What's more, the name extraction template itself looks pretty cryptic. I was quite confused. But then, I soon realized why I needed the extraction template when I was confronted with this problem. Let me explain. There is nothing special on this block to tell me that it is a title block. There is nothing special here to say that this is a parts list data row. It's just another block reference with attributes. With the extraction template, I point to the various elements of a typical drawing and get it to recognize this block as a title block, this as a parts list, this as a balloon, and this as a drawing border. Then it generates a set of rules to extract information critical to the bomb. It stores these rules in a file called an extraction template. The bomb migration tool over here uses the extraction template to recognize the various objects in the drawing and extract information and populate the bomb. In the next two videos, I will show you how these tools work.